if you'd have told me a year ago I'd join a sorority in college, I probably wouldn't have believed you, but here I am, decked out in my sorority gear and everything. Hey everybody, it's been a while, and I thought, with everything that's been going on in my sorority, that I would share my experience going through the recruitment process for joining a sorority at Auburn. Before I get started, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and any interaction with my videos help, and thank you to my patrons on Patreon. I didn't initially plan on going through recruitment and joining a sorority because I didn't think it would be something I would enjoy, and I was worried it would take up a lot of my time and I wouldn't get much out of it. But my mom and dad convinced me I should at least go through the process and see how I felt at the end of the week. And I'm really glad I did because at the end of the week I found this great group of girls and I couldn't imagine not being with them. It has been a great experience so far. I feel like I belong. I feel like they care about me and it's really been a great way for me to meet people and get involved on campus. When I went through the process, I didn't know very much about the different sororities. I had a few ideas about a couple of them because of what people had told me or what I'd seen over the summer while looking through their Instagrams. Like for example, I heard that Alpha Gamma Delta was known as like wife material because most of the girls were sweet and academic. And I'd been following Sigma Kappa, my mom's sorority on Instagram and they had like all these model pictures and were dressed super fancy and like none of their Instagram actually told me anything about what they were doing. It was all just these girls in these glamour photos and like looking nice, but they never actually gave me information about them. So I went into that kind of with these few ideas about what I thought their sororities were like, but I didn't let that influence my decision. I basically went in blind and didn't think, oh yeah, I want this sorority or I want this one. I just went in like, let's see how I feel about them when I see them. Once the recruitment process actually started, it's set up to where you go to these parties with the sororities and find more about them. During these parties, you talk to women in the sorority and they try to sell their sorority but you also try to sell yourself to them. When I went into parties, I didn't think, oh, I need to be really cool for this sorority because I really want them to pick me. I just went in like, I just wanna meet people. I wanna make new friends. At every party, the girls who were helping everything go smoothly, they were like, hey, are you nervous? And I'm like, no, I'm just here to meet people. And I did that the whole week. I've just talked to people and I wasn't thinking, Oh, like, I definitely want this one. I was just thinking, well, I like this about this sorority. I like this about this sorority. I like all of these. These are all my favorites. But if you had to ask me, which one do you want to be in right now? I wouldn't really know. I just met some really cool people and I was really impressed. But I just went in making friends up until the very last day when I had to make my decision. But as far as accommodation and how I was treated went, Auburn was incredibly welcoming. All the sororities did really well getting my accommodations. There was one sorority that something got lost in the mail because I sent an email out before everything started and said, hey, I need this in these parties because they're about 30 minutes long and you stand the whole time. And I was like, well, I can't do that. So I'm gonna need a chair and something got lost. And so for this one sorority, that will go unnamed. They didn't have anywhere for me to sit and I had to awkwardly lean on the table the whole time. And I was really unimpressed by that part. I was just thinking, this isn't their fault, but this is probably not gonna be the place for me because all the other sororities I could tell had planned this out and found like couches and be like, we're gonna reserve this couch for Sarah Kate or like, I could just tell that this was probably not it because all the sororities had gotten this done and they hadn't. But other than that, I really felt welcomed. And even in that party, all the girls were nice to me. I just was not impressed that I didn't get the accommodations I needed. But I really felt like they wanted me to succeed overall. 
I felt like people looked out for me, the girls who ran everything, made sure I was okay. I would leave my wheelchair outside and then walk in and they'd keep track of the wheelchair, they'd have it like ready, waiting for me on the way out, which that was especially helpful, that was great. And I was just really impressed with how smoothly it went with my disability because nothing ever does. But that was probably the best anything has ever gone with my CP. And when the time came for me to make my decision, I was down to two sororities and I had ranked them number one and number two, and one of them I really, really liked. I liked both of them a lot, but one of them I liked a lot more than the other because I felt welcome. I felt like I could be Sarah Kate and I wasn't just the girl with the disability. Like, I felt if these girls went out and talked about me or someone asked them, like, what's the most interesting part about Sarah Kate, it wouldn't be, anything related to my disability. It would be like, oh, Sarah Kate wants to major in chemical engineering because of this, or Sarah Kate is writing a book, or just whatever. Like, I felt I was known as Sarah Kate and not known as my CP. So at the end of the week, when I'm waiting to find out who has picked me, because just because I rank my sororities first and second doesn't mean I'll get my first choice. And so I was really nervous up to that point because I was like, I, like, it is, it is Delta Gamma or nothing. I don't feel like I belong in this other sorority. I feel like that's not it. They treated me great. There's nothing wrong about them, but it's not it. Because I remember the last day where you went to parties, you typically have like deep conversations. And the girl that I had on that day to talk with, we were both crying and falling apart that day um, and I was just I really felt loved and cared for and actually so that girl that I had on the last day she is now my grand big which is my bigs big and my big sister is a girl in the sorority who's a sophomore and is just kind of like my role model and is there for me if I need anything. That day when I was crying, I was like, it's like, it's this sorority or nothing because I could be Sarah Kate there and it didn't matter that I had a disability. And I still feel that way now because I did end up getting an invitation to join their sorority and I'm so happy and whenever I need accommodations for meetings, like making sure that there's a chair for me to sit in because the floor is really uncomfortable for me. It hurts my back. That happens and I don't even have to remind them. Um, like the director of new members, she's texted me and been like, hey, so there's a chair here that's reserved for you. And I'm like, thank you. And I don't have to ask or remind them. They just remember that I need these things. And they really look out for me and they're always willing to help me. And I love all my sisters and they are some of the best friends I could ask for. And I really felt appreciated and I can't believe I ever thought of not joining a sorority. If you like this video, give it a like, share, a comment, subscribe to my channel, or join my Patreon. Thank you to the Ginn family, Terry Sintner, Robert DeBoer, Katie Little, and Timothy Cordomanchi. You guys are awesome. They've stayed with me for a while now so grateful they really help out and if you would like to help out go to patreon.com and search for Sarah Kate Sly and you should find me pretty easy be sure to look out for my next video in the two weeks I'm excited because now that I am doing varsity sports on the Auburn wheelchair tennis team I've been to two tournaments and I'm excited because that's my next video and Ah, it should be a cool video and I will see you guys in two weeks. Bye.